What's up guys, this is Chrony Gresham, welcome to episode 85 of my FIFA 13 Road to Gold Around the World series. Welcome back guys. Last episode we had finished off with the Division 1, we had actually gone out and won that. And we also did the first round in the Gold Cup and won that as well. And um, the squad is just fairly low on fitness and contract. Um, we've got Gorai there, who um, I just go and buy a bronze contract and just put him on there because I... Uh, there's not much point in putting a uh, what's it called a um, a gold contract on him if I if like I, I, there's a chance of me only having one game left with him so uh, yeah so um, that's why I just went out and picked out a um, uh, what's it called um, a bronze contract also I believe I go and pick up that um, Lopez kid I'm not too yeah I do um, he was in a fairly decent formation shit ton of contracts and um, stuff like that and so I just decided to go I don't think I actually did pick him up but. Uh, I was thinking of doing it just because he had a shit ton of contracts and stuff like that. So, um, uh, but I don't. And uh, I was just looking for other alternatives to a right back and left back because obviously, um, the fitness is fairly low on them players as well. And I do believe I do actually go and pick up that one there. I, I don't think I actually go and pick one up at all. Um, now I'm looking for um, replacements in the centre mid de department, and uh, there wasn't too many of them either for a decent amount of coins. So I'm, I'm just flicking through, seeing if I can get any replacement players instead of um, spending out on contracts and uh, fitness cards and stuff like that. But um, I couldn't. And as you can see there, the fitness is fairly low on some of the players. But I just decided to go straight into the next game. Um, hopefully, um, when this game finishes, there's more players on the market for me actually to buy. But uh, we'll just have a quick wait until we get into the first game of this episode, which you can see here. And the guy is um, being a bit of a pleb, uh, talking a bit too much. You may be able to hear that there. But um, I'll just go and mute him there because um, obviously that may ruin a bit of the gameplay. But he's got a fantastic team there. Um, very, very pacey defence. Abate, Cialini, Thiago Silva. He's also got Inform Maxwell as a left back. He's got Team of the Season, Lamella as well. Very, very good card as well. I think he's got another Team of the Week in the midfield as well of David Luiz. Um, so he's got a fairly nice team, but... Uh, in the 24th minute here, nice in-air through ball into Barella. And he's going to shrug off the challenge and blast that into the top right-hand corner of the net to make it 1-0. A very, very nice finish indeed. Um, we then move on to the 30-odd minutes around that. And um, uh, Danilino picks the ball up from a stray pass there. And uh, he just works it out of defence into the midfield. And uh, we work it down the field, pass it out to Jackson Martinez, who um, does some nice work, finds some space. And uh, every time you just run it and, uh, yeah... I was going to say something and then remembered what a fantastic finish from him to make it 2-0. Um, Lamella here runs down the post and um, that's a fairly easy goal for him. Just put, cuts that across into Sergio Aguilero to make it 2-1. We then move on to the 34th minute here. Guerrero, nice chop there to get inside and a fantastic finish. Here. Unfortunately, my save, the keeper got a hand to it. Unfortunately, he couldn't prod it around the side of the net. But that made it 2-2. We then move into the second half here. Nani gets fairly, very lucky there for that. Um, block to come straight but full back straight to him and again what a fantastic finish from Lamella there to make it 3-2 straight from the kickoff though we pick the ball up I believe that is Varela there does some very very nice work to find some space and what a fantastic outside of the boot finish to make it 3-3 in the 48th minute. Straight away from his goal, we go and score one. That's what you want to do, guys. Go and apply the pressure straight away. Keep your head up and hopefully you can get a goal back. But uh, he gets very, very lucky there for that ball to fall straight back out and from a deflection. And um, prods that across into Lewis and Nane to make it 4-3. Sorry. Um, we then move to the 85th minute. And I went on ultra attack and just to see if I could get a goal back. And um, I believe um, we lose the ball here and uh, Maxwell cuts it back to Aguero. Aguero finds some space. A nice tackle there, which I thought was a fairly um, fine tackle. And uh, uh, no, it was apparently a penalty. So um, we're gonna, he's going to, I believe, go and put, um, I think he puts Marquisio. I think he may put Marquisio on or he goes and swaps out to Eric Lamella. I believe this is for his hat trick. And he's going to place that into the right-hand corner to make it 5-3, I believe, and uh, yeah, that's kind of an annoying game. Um, I thought we could, um, we were 3-0 up, I believe, and <laughs> kind of um, choked a bit and uh, went on the attack too much and uh, kind of lost out there. But uh, as you can see there, we're now going to quickly sell all the squad, send them all to the trade pile and uh, send the ones I know the prices for, just put them straight up. And uh, we're going to be moving in to a another league, guys, which is going to be moving to... Um, the closest country to Portugal, should I say, which is going to be Spain. And we're going to the second Spanish league, the Liga Adelante. Um, it's got some bronze uh, gold players in, got some fairly decent silvers as well. And um, there's also got some inform cards, which I'm not too sure if I'll pick out because um, there's some very nice, pacey silver players in that squad. So, um, yeah, 
I'm not too sure on that one, but uh, the formation we're playing is going to be the 4 1 2 1 2. We've got a decent CDM of the um, Real Madrid Castilla player. I'm not too sure of his name at the moment, and uh, also a decent centre attack and mid. So um, the squad looks fairly decent. Also, decent right mid and left mid, and some decent strikers as well. So um, that formation definitely worked. And uh, we're going to start off with the buying and go and pick up this player here, Tony, I believe, the gold goalkeeper. And also go and pick up a right back here of Laura. And uh, he's very pacey player. I believe that is 87 pace. And uh, I think he'll probably do the job, hopefully. Uh, plays for Sporting Dijon, I do believe. Um, and uh, we're looking for a left back here. And uh, we're going to pick up this player here, Canelli, I believe it is. And um, I'm not too sure. And I think I picked them up for 350 coins in a 4-3-3. Fantastic buy there. 59th minute around that, I think, was a fairly decent buy. So I was pretty happy with that buy there. And uh, we're going to look for some centre-backs here. And uh, we're going to pick up this player here, Catala, I believe it is. And um, he, again, pacey player. I think he's got 79, 74 pace, sorry, which is going to be a decent amount. And uh, 71 rated, decent heading as well. So um, he should be fairly decent. And now looking for another centre-back. And I was looking for this player here. I think he's called that one there, Nacho Fernandez. And um, I couldn't find his Real Madrid Castilla one um, anyway. Or it was going for about 10K. So it, I couldn't find anyone. But uh, I was looking for this Casimero guy um, in a Brazilian CDM there, 4 one 2 on 2 and there was a bid on, and uh, it didn't have too long left, so I put a bid on, I think I actually do pick him up for a fairly decent price there, we're going to put a, um, add Jesse Rodriguez onto the watch list there, um, he, um, right mid, left mid player, sorry, he's got an upgrade card as well, so um, hopefully he should do fairly decently, I believe I'll go and pick him up for 2,700 coins in the 4-5-1 formation, so um, he should do fairly decent there as well, looks like a very solid pay player as well, I believe he's got an inform card, but that goes for quite a bit, and um, I'm looking for a right mid here, and I couldn't really find any right mids I really like, so um, we move swiftly on to the cam position, and uh, I was looking for this player here, I believe um, it is Guzan, I'm not too sure if he, well he's got a, um, what's it called, a Swansea card as well, he currently plays for Villa, Villarreal, sorry, and um, I'm not too sure if he actually still plays for Villarreal, or um, he's actually moved from um, Swansea to Villarreal, um, which I can quickly check here, but uh, we're looking for some strikers here, and um, uh, I, that player there, you may have seen that Portuguese player here, Hugo Vieira, I believe it is. Um, he looks like a very, very nice player. And um, yes, um, sorry, um, what's he called? Jonathan de Guzman does actually still play for Villarreal, sorry, but he is on loan to Swansea. But uh, we go and put the players into their positions, as you can see here. Just quickly filling out the positions, we got um, a striker. We need, I believe it's four players, and uh, we got um, two players on bids and. Uh, so we basically need a couple of players, another striker, uh, centre-back and a right mid. Um, so uh, that, they're the only couple of players. We've still got the cams and the CDMs. We've got bids on them. And uh, I was looking for another striker here. And uh, I was looking at some reviews of some players on uh, Foothead. You can always get some very, very nice reviews of players there. And um, this player here, I believe it is Aranjo, um, the Barcelona B player, Argentinian. He looked like... Um, he was getting some very nice reviews, and uh, yes, he's not the pacey of players, but he looked like a fairly decent, well-rounded player, and I thought he, he could work fairly well with my very, very pacey other striker, the Portuguese player. He's got like 90 or place, I do believe. Um, so I thought he worked quite well, Now I'll go and give him a try and give you guys some hints to see what he's actually like. But uh, again, I'm looking for a right mid here, and uh, I couldn't find any standout players. You normally get one standout player, and uh, I just couldn't find anything. And then I remembered of this player here, Del Folu, who I do believe now actually plays for Everton. Um, I'm not too sure if he's actually on loan or does actually fully play for Everton, um, but um, I was looking at him and uh, he is actually a left mid, he's got a team of the season card as a right mid, so um, I could go and pick that up, but uh, that was going for too much, so that wasn't really an option, so um, um, this player here, Kathy M or Cassie Melo, sorry, um, I was winning the bid at 950, and uh, then it kind of got a bit heated, um, Real Madrid could see a very good player, I've used him before, and uh, he just went up, um, flying up there, but uh, I do believe I picked him up for a decent amount, I think it was actually 2,200 coins there, which is a fairly decent, I think I probably could make about a grand on him, maybe, um, if I'm lucky, but uh, that was a fairly nice um, buy there, so um, we've got a... Uh, a CDM there, and um, got. We just need a centre back, a cam, and a right mid. So the cam we got a bid on, which is um, that player. What's he called? Uh, De Guzman. Del Folu um, is actually on loan from Barcelona, and um, the um, potential right mid, should I say? I may actually go and pick him up in the left mid and put him as a right mid there. Um, looks like a very very good player. 91 pace, decent skills, decent shot as well. And I do go and pick him up. A grand, but in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Probably won't go down too much in price. I'm just going to put him there. And as you can see there, he still gets fairly strong links. He's got a good link with the striker and a good link with the um, right back as well. Hopefully, we can just get links all around. And hopefully, he is. Um, we can get the 
chemistry up there, so um, he should be perfectly fine. We'll just wait until uh, we play the first game with this squad to see what he will be actually like. So all we need now is just a another centre-back and a cam. And then I realised I can go and pick up this Nacho Fernandez guy um, for his Real Madrid Castilla version. And uh, for a lot cheaper, um, no, just his Real Madrid version, sorry, um, for a lot cheaper. He may not link with um, as many players. Unfortunately, he doesn't link with the CDM. Um, in theory, um, Casiero, actually, I was watching the Real Madrid game this morning of doing this commentary, and I believe they played um, Atletico Bilbao, and uh, Casemiro actually came on and uh, had a fairly decent stint as a midfielder, and um, I believe also Jesse Rodriguez came on as well um, as a striker, and they looked fairly promising as well, so I, I think they, maybe they should um, rotate it a bit, like saying that um, like the... Um, Real Madrid Castilla team should link with um, the Real Madrid team, but uh, that's that's just the way this game goes. So um, we got a decent amount of chemistry there. I was just seeing if I can uh, just swap some of the um, uh, get some of the people who've got the red formation version into the ones of the uh, yellow. So um, you know, just gradually boosting the chemistry up and up. And uh, maybe later on, um, using this squad when I go for like alternative players and stuff like that, maybe I can get the squad up a bit more. But um, I'm not too sure on how much um, chemistry that we have there. But uh, as you can see, I'm just applying these um, five, these contract um, fitness. Uh, oh my god, I'm just applying these formation cards onto the players, so they've got the orange chemistry instead of the red ones. We've got 82 there, plus another player coming in, which may probably add nine chemistry if I do pick him up. Um, so that's about 91 chemistry, which is going to be fairly sound. I'm um, just going to go to imply morale card and stuff like that hopefully everyone's fitness and stuff like that's okay but uh, we go out and buy some badges now and kits like I always do with every new league and we go and start off with picking up the Real Madrid Castilla badge fairly nice looking badge just a graduate you know everyone knows the Real Madrid badge and um we're just going to have a look at some kits. And I had a read. I, I actually go and change the Real Madrid Castilla badge. I actually preferred that one there, though. I'm not too sure on the squad. But uh, I'll just go and swap that out. And um, now I'm looking for some, some kits, sorry. And there's some very nice kits. This one here, I believe that was the home kit from Huesca. Very, very nice kit there. The purple and blue contrast stripes looks fairly nice. And um, also, I'm picking up. I'm just quickly searching through the kits here. And uh, that luminous yellow one, I, I don't know. I, it just looked fairly decent, fairly solid color few stripes down the middle and uh, I thought that just looked fairly decent but guys this is the end of the episode guys if you like this, uh, remember to hit that like button also remember to subscribe to stay tuned to this series and make sure you subscribe because um, we're going to be playing with some games with this squad in the upcoming episodes but guys this is the end of the episode this has been Crunch Rush till next time adios